Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. In my previous videos I did show you how to install Optifine for Minecraft Java and also how to install Forge for Minecraft Java edition. Now today I'm going to show you how you can install Optifine and Forge at the same time so both of them can be used together and you can have your mods and shaders in the game at the same time. Hopefully by the end of this video you should be able to install both Forge and Optifine and run them at the same time in the game and have your shader packs and your mods all running together. Okay, so with Optifine, obviously we are able to install and run shader packs and with Forge, we are able to install mods and add-ons for the game. As you can see in the top left corner there, I do have this minimap add-on installed at the moment. It is running, it's really cool as you can see over here and in the background as you can notice the water is different so I am using a shader pack with this mod and this is Silda's shader pack and they're both running together so if I just go into first person mode as you can see this is the amazing Silda's shader pack running alongside with the Zero's minimap add-on and what I'm going to do today I'm going to show you how to install Forge and how you can install Optifine with Forge and how you can install this mod and the shader pack at the same time to get them all running together. All right, so the first thing you need to do is open up your internet browser and just type in java.com. Click on Java download. Scroll down, agree and start free download. Let that download the Java installation file, open it up and make sure that you've installed Java and it's all up to date. You might get two messages on there. You might get a message saying that your Java is already up to date or it might say that you're running an older version of Java and it needs to uninstall it before it can install the newer version. So just go ahead and make sure that your Java is all up to date and let's move on to the next step. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna download all our files and paste them on the desktop so we have them ready for installation. So if you open up your internet browser again, this time we're gonna start with Forge. So if you just type in Minecraft Forge, and it's normally the first result. And as you can see, the website address is files.minecraftforge.net. If we click on that link, click on this link here for the installer, you will get this ad-based installer window so just wait for a few seconds and then click on the skip button here. All right, so now that we've got Forge downloaded, the next file we're gonna download is Optifine, obviously. So let's go to our internet browser, type in Minecraft Optifine. And again, the first link, which is optifine.net, click on this link, click on downloads. I normally go for the mirror file, click on download and it should start downloading. All right, and now we have Optifine downloaded and placed on our desktop. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna download the shader pack which I was using earlier, and that was Silda's shader pack. So again, open up your internet browser, type in Silda's shaders. I've already got this saved, so I'm just gonna hit return. And again, it's normally the first link, and it's the GitHub link for this modification. So the website that you go to should look like this. Click on the download section, close the ads, if you do see any. The one I was using was this one, which was Silda's Vibrant Shaders version 1.283, Extreme Volumetric Lighting. You can go for a less detailed version of this if your system cannot handle that. But for this example, I'm just gonna download this one, which is the highest setting download. Again, we have this ad-based website, so just wait for that. A few seconds and then we'll have the skip link click on skip and it's loaded a, a mediafire.com link over here so just click on download close this add down and your download should finish all right so as you can see i've placed silda's vibrant shaders on my desktop as well and finally we're going to download the zero's minimap add-on and the website you need to go for for that one is chocolateminecraft.com 
and obviously I will leave a link in the description for all of these links that I've gone to today and if you just click on the Zeros minimap section here this is the author's main website so you don't have to worry about out-of-date mods because this is the you're getting this mod straight from the the author directly just scroll down click on download full mod you'll notice that there's two versions here one is for forge one is for fabric so make sure that you are downloading the forge version of this i'm going to click on mirror all right so as you can see i've now got zeros minimap downloaded and all the files on my desktop ready for installation so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install forge to begin with so if you right click on forge and you hover over open with select java platform se binary now bear in mind that if you do have any of these already installed you don't have to do this this is just for someone who's doing this for the first time so that you can just skip past this bit if you already have these things installed on your system so just click on ok uh, just make sure it says install client and click on ok it should install directly to where your minecraft is saved and just wait for it to download a few files and update your system and then close it down if you launch the minecraft launcher you will know that forge has been installed properly because on the bottom left here it will say forge it might also say latest release and hover over this drop down and select forge and you'll know that you've got forge installed you can also click on installations and you'll see that forge is showing over here all right so if we go back making sure that forge is selected in the drop down all right so click on play and just wait for forge to load up you will obviously see a few messages like it's showing on the system now all right cool and now you will know that forge is working because on the bottom left here it will say forge and it'll give you the version number and you have another button here for mods if you click on this you should see two different versions here one will say minecraft and show you the latest version of minecraft and one will say forge okay now what you want to do is you want to click on this button here at the bottom left which says open mods folder so let's go ahead and do that all right and as you can see it has opened up the mods folder and as you can see over here this is the pathway to it so what we're going to do is we're going to click on optifine and drag it into this mods folder and i'm also going to take zero's minimap add-on and drag it into this folder so now we've got two mods dragged into this mods folder don't put silders vibrant shaders into this because that's not a mod that's a shader pack so just leave it there and now that we've got these two mods in here we're going to go into the launcher and also don't worry if you do happen to close this down let's go into the minecraft launcher click on installations hover any of these lines over here and click on the folder icon click on mods over here and as you can see i've got the two mods there just going to quit the game and rerun it so it recognizes the uh, mods that i've just placed in the directory forge should give you a message about how many mods you've got there and hopefully it should say how many mods we've got now so as you can see at the bottom left there it does say three mods loaded all right now click on the mods button there so now you should see minecraft forge and zeros minimap there but don't worry if you don't see optifine because it does work trust me it just doesn't show on this bit here all right click on done now to check that optifine has been loaded into forge the best way to do it is click on options go to the video settings and there'll be a button here that says shaders now if you did not have optifine installed it would not show the shaders button here basically so click on shaders and what you need to do is you need to click on the shaders folder at the bottom left here so we're going to do that just click on this all right so as you can see i've got the shader packs folder open now this is the pathway to it and what we're going to do now is we're going to take Silda's vibrant shaders and just drag it into there it's a zip file and if you notice the previous mods were jar based extensions and this is a zip based extension file all right so if you do happen to again close this down go to the minecraft launcher 
click on installations and then just click on this folder icon and then click on shader packs over here. Let's close this down. Just going to quit the game and rerun it. Let's run the launcher again. Okay, again, so making sure that Forge is selected, click on play. Let's wait for this to load up. All right, let me just quickly make this full screen. Now, if you click on options, go to video settings and then click on shaders, you will see that Silda's Vibrant Shaders is showing here and it has been selected. So everything is fine. You can actually click on shader options at the bottom right here and just mess around with any of these settings that you want to, to get the shader pack to look however you like. So click on done, click on done again, and then just go back to the main menu. Let's go back into our world and see how everything looks. And there we go. So as you can see, the shader pack has been loaded. We've got the cool looking water graphics here and the volumetric shading and everything. And we've got the minimap add-on that's loaded alongside these shaders as well. As you can see, I've got the minimap showing there. It's really cool. You can press Y on your keyboard to change the shape of the minimap to a circle if you want to and do loads of other stuff as well. You can also place waypoints as well using this minimap, which is really cool. If you haven't tried this mod before, definitely give it a go. And if you haven't tried the shader pack before, definitely give it a go. But hopefully you guys have found this video useful and hopefully now you should be able to install and run Optifine and Forge at the same time. So you should be able to use Forge with Optifine without any problems. If you guys like this video, please give us a like. If you have any queries or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And please do subscribe to this channel to help support it, help it grow. And thank you for watching.